Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, Happy New Year. Hi. Oh. oh, you look you look like you just woke up. Yes. <laughs> Your eyes are all puffy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, your eyes are puffy. <laughs> are you look cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, how are you today? How was your January one? It's good. Oh, it's good. I don't need to go to school today. Oh, yeah. Is it that today in Vietnam? Not yet. Oh, not yet. When is the Tet? I think it's nearly the February. Oh, yes. oh yeah. You, you So, you follow Chinese New Year? Yeah, Lunar Year is. Mm -mm, that yeah. is uh, really my test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Um. yes, the Lunar Year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it is Tet during uh january one okay but what do you celebrate uh january one the new year's eve do you celebrate that oh do you celebrate the new year's eve i can't agree oh hold on let me check your mm. Okay, um, do you celebrate New Year's Eve? Eve? What? Oh, New Year's Eve. I don't know what is New Year's Eve. Okay. Uh, here. What is Eve? Oh, Eve is night. Evening. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, so do you prepare a lot of food during New Year's Eve? Yes. Okay. Oh, how, how do you celebrate uh, New Year's Eve in Vietnam? Uh, we watch fireworks and eat, uh, eat food and uh, everybody... Everybody uh, stay together and talk. Oh, I see. Oh, you gather together with your family members and um, you eat some food for dinner. Mm, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So what about going outside to watch the fireworks? Do you do that in Vietnam? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, yesterday... I slept around 2 a.m. because I watch fireworks outside my house. So, yeah, we, we Filipino, oh. we, mm -hmm, we also celebrate uh, New Year's Eve. Actually, Christmas and New Year's Eve are the holidays that we really celebrate. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh, and the celebration is grand. I mean, there are a lot of foods. A lot, oh, oh, oh. A lot of visitors. I almost fell on my chair. A lot of visitors and uh, family members gather around. We, we talk. And yeah, we drink sometimes. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you are not allowed to drink yet. Okay, you are not allowed to drink yet. But the Filipinos, yeah, we, we do that. Okay, so Happy New Year, Happy 2020. It's already 2020. So to start up our new year, I have a test for you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if we are starting our new year like this. But I do believe that uh, the content of this test, we already... Um, 
uh, tackle this one. We discuss this one. And, and this one is very easy. I, I know you can do it. Okay. So we got pronunciation, grammar, listening, speaking, and reading, and writing. Okay, don't worry. This is very easy. Okay. So uh, let's start with pronunciation. Okay, this is for grade 7. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is not it. Oh, I edited this one because the answer are already shown. Ah, here we go. This one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. It didn't save. Okay, so let's have this one instead. Okay, that is the end. Okay, so let's skip the pronunciation because it got the answers. See? Okay, let's have this one instead. Okay, grammar part. Ooh, this one is very easy. Okay, so you just have to choose the best answer. Okay, number one. What, who, when, where? The WH question. We just discussed that last year, last week. Okay, number one is letter A, what? Very good. Number, three, uh, number two. Okay, should be very good. Number three. Okay. Okay, number four. Out oh, to play. Would you like to play badminton? Would you like play badminton? Oh, it should be to play. I told you, this one is very easy. Okay, uh, next. Okay, so this is the part two. Okay, very good. Number six. Oh, fewer. Okay, number nine. Why? Mm -hmm. And number 10, oh, rehearsing. Uh, is rehearsing for a play? Oh, rehearsing is like practicing. Okay. Uh -huh. Next. Okay, so give the right form of the verbs in the brackets. Man, usually, uh, can I read? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. I don't want to <laughs> You don't want to write? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll just read your answer. Tell me your Man answer. Usually, plays uh, volleyball after school. Okay. Very good. Number two. Now she is playing badminton in the sport round. Very good. Number three. Uh, next, uh, next year, my sister will be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Number four. Do you go swimming every afternoon? Okay. Number five. Uh, Students should review their work before test. 
Okay. Okay, so this is the listening part. Uh -huh. I will play the audio and since you don't want to write, just tell me your answer here, 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 and here, okay? Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name's Lucy. And what's your surname, Lucy? Moore. Can you spell that? M O O R E. Thank you. What class are you in? Class 1B. Class 1B. And how old are you, Lucy? I'm 13. Have you got a photo? Yes, here you are. Thank you. Hmm. OK. Thank you, Lucy. Here's your school library card. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. OK, so let me play that one more time. This recording was brought to you by the British... Oh, what's your name? My name's Lucy. And what's your surname, Lucy? Moore. Can you spell that? M O O R E. Thank you. What class are you in? Class 1B. Class 1B. And how old are you, Lucy? I'm 13. Have you got a photo? Yes, here you are. Thank you. OK. Thank you, Lucy. Here's your school library card. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. OK, very good. This recording was brought to you. OK, so uh, this is a uh, name or surname. Uh-huh. Spell, class, old, photo, and card. Uh, surname must be, should be like this. Surname. Okay, not E. It, sh it should be you, surname. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Next. Oh, this is the tape script. Okay, so this is speaking part. Okay, so the topic is your hobbies. And we got two questions. Okay, but it numbers one and three. <laughs> okay, so what do you. What do you often do in your free time? I often mm -hmm. that I play game, but sometimes okay. I play football. Okay, play game and play football. Okay, what day do you usually play football and what day do you usually play game? Uh, I usually play game. In a, in a the Wednesday, the Thursday, the mm -hmm. Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I play football in the in the Sunday and the Saturday. Oh, Sunday and Saturday. Oh, what game do you usually play? Roblox. What is that? Listen, do you don't know Roblox? Oh, is that an online game? A computer yes. game? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, very nice. Okay. So, uh, aside from playing game and uh, playing football, what is or are your other hobby or hobbies? Can you repeat that? Okay, aside from playing online game and football, what is or are your other hobby or hobbies? I play, uh, I go to swim in the, uh, I often go to swim in uh, my summer holiday too. Oh, I often go swimming. Oh, during summer holiday? Yes, but just in summer. Oh, but, just in summer. Oh, usually in summer. Yeah, uh, swimming lessons, they are usually in summer. 
Okay, so uh, aside from that, what else? Do you like reading, listening to music? Oh, uh, yes. I read book every day. Oh, you read book every day. That's nice to hear. Uh, is that an English book? Mm, yes. And okay. comic book too. And comic books too. Very good. Okay, so do you think it is necessary for everyone to have a hobby? Necessary, it means important. Mm, yes. Uh, why do you think so? Because hobby will uh, give me fun and give everyone fun too. And we can do to remove stress. Mm, oh, we, we, we can have heavy to relieve or to remove stress. Very good. Very well said, my dear. Okay, so this is giving direction. So there are questions. One, two, three. You just have to tell me how to go to those places, okay? Number one, where's the museum? Uh, let's say that. Uh -huh, let's have a starting point. Okay, so you are here. Where is the museum? In front of you. How oh, very good. That's very easy. Where's the pub? Pubs? A uh, pub. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you need to go to the uh, Garden Street and uh, it's in the left. Okay, so uh huh. Garden Street and left. Okay. Uh, is the cinema next to the bakery? Uh, no. Okay. So where is the cinema? Can you tell me how to go to the cinema? Uh, the cinema is next to the restaurant and in the Sun Street. Okay. It is in the Sun Street. Okay, so this is the reading part. Okay, I will give you um, three minutes to read the text. I think that will be enough. And then tell me when you are done. We will answer questions one, two, three, four. Okay? Okay. Okay. Are you finished reading? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. I will answer the question. Oh, do you want to write your answers or do you want to tell me your answers? I want to write. Okay.
Alonso. And then, okay, what about number four? What time does he work? Uh -huh. What time does his work usually finish? Mm. Okay, uh, okay. He usually finishes. Uh huh. His work. Yeah. In. Say. Okay. In. Six. Okay, finishes at six. Very good. Um, okay, um, my dear, let me remind you again that a uh, sentence it should start with capital letter and ends with period. Okay, good job nonetheless. Okay, very nice. Okay, so writing, I think this will be the last. Part. So, reorder the given words to make a meaningful sentence. Okay, very good. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Number one is the park. Okay, could you tell me how to get to the post office? How much is the mail letter to America? Okay, very good. Uh, let's see if there's a part two. Uh -huh, okay, so that is only uh, one to three. Very good. So I will send the... Okay, I will send the results of this one uh, before next meeting in your uh, messenger account, okay? Uh, okay, so now let's have, we still got time. Okay, so this will be, where is that? Supplement activity, listening. 
J, what J are we? Let me see, J4. Okay, yeah, D4. Okay, so we are going to talk about time. Okay, so this is about time. Uh, before we go over with the main topic, uh, let's have a warm-up activity. I have a few questions with you and try to answer it, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, what time do you usually get up in the morning? Uh, when I go to school, I get up at 6.30, but when I don't go... I need to go to school. I get up at nine thirty. Hmm. Okay. So six thirty. What time does your first class start? At seven thirty. Oh, seven thirty. But, but I need to go to. Uh, but I need to have place in school in a. Seven thirty. As in 7 a.m. Oh, I see. You have to be at school at 7 a.m. But your first class starts at 7.30. Yes. Okay, why do you have to be 30 minutes early? Uh, because, uh, I don't know, is that head in the country? But in Vietnam, uh, it has the first... Uh, I don't know what it called. Okay, hold on. I think we also got that in the Philippines. A flag racing, this one. Uh huh. I don't know if it is. Okay, flag ceremony. Flag ceremony. Okay, this one. Do you have this one in Vietnam? Yes, but just in a just in a Monday. Oh, it, but, it, it, uh, we uh, need to uh, be uh, uh, early than 30 minutes is uh, every day. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So every Monday you, you got flag ceremony, but uh, every Monday and then you have to be early, but you have to be early every day. Yes. Okay, so since Monday you got flag ceremony, what about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? What are the things that you usually do since you are 30 minutes early during Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? I do many things. Okay, uh -huh. can you give an example? Uh, I... Like playing football with my friend or playing mm -hmm. badminton. Mm. Oh, so the, the 30 minutes allowance since you are you, you guys have to be in school 30 minutes early. You use that to uh, play with your friends? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I see. Oh, here in the Philippines too. But in the Philippines, I think uh, if your class starts at 7 you have to be here you have to be at school at least 6 a.m or you, you yes, got to be now too ah uh, you got to be early because uh it is you know you know the traffic here in the philippines is stressful and oh. uh -huh, mm -hmm, i don't know how to describe the traffic in the philippines but it is very stressful that you need to wake up very early in the morning and get dressed, eat your breakfast, and hit up the road because you will get stuck in traffic if you don't get up early. And, well, students here in the Philippines, I don't know with if this is happening with other schools here in the Philippines, but during my time when I was in a high school, in the morning, you have to clean your classroom. <laughs> It is a it is a class effort. You have to clean the classroom before you start your uh, first class. If you don't clean the classroom, the teacher will scold you. I don't know if the Vietnam you, you, you got that, but during my time, our teacher have the stick. Uh, the teacher oh. is always holding the stick, and the teacher is using that to scold everybody. 
So if you do something wrong, you are going outside. The teacher will send you outside and you have to raise your hands until the, the teacher says that it is okay for you to go back. It is before, but now it is not allowed in the Philippines. During my time, when I was in, in a junior high, it is okay to do that for teachers to punish the students. What about in Vietnam? Do teachers punish the students like that? Mm, I think yes. Mm. Oh, you, teachers in Vietnam are quite strict. Mm -hmm. T teachers in Vietnam, they are strict. Strict? What is strict? Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, strict means... Uh, this one, this one. Mm, maybe some teacher is... Yes, but mm -hmm. someone is not. Okay, uh -huh. it, it may vary. Oh, same goes in the Philippines. I do have kind teachers and I do have the strict one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but I will never forget those teachers who hit me using the stick. Hit? Uh, when I, uh, yeah, hit. Hit. Oh. Okay. In, in the Philippines, we have what we call uh, rules and regulation. Do you know what is the meaning of cleaners? No. Okay. Uh -huh. Every week, there is a group of students who are assigned to clean the classroom. Okay, for example, group one, you will clean the classroom on Monday. Group two, you will clean the classroom on Tuesday. And sometimes, when it is our part or it is my group, uh -huh, it is the turn of my group to clean the classroom. I don't clean classroom because you have to do that in the morning and in the afternoon after class. You have to wipe the, the windows, uh, sweep the floor, arrange the chairs, uh, erase the blackboards. You have to clean the blackboards. Sometimes I don't participate on those activities. And the teacher will get mad and I got hit. So I will oh. never... <laughs> yeah. Uh, just like what I said before, it is allowed in the Philippines for teacher teachers to hit their students, to punish their students like that. But as of now, it is not allowed. If teacher will do that, she will get into prison. It will be a jail time. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have this one. These are the vocabulary that is included in this activity. First, we have, oh, the name of my dog. This is? Midnight. Okay, very good. Coming up. Uh-huh, very good. Mm, touch. Okay. Station. Very good. And this one is? Mm, comedy. Okay, very good. So, uh -huh. midnight is a noun. Coming up is a verb. Touch is a verb. And station and comedy is also a noun. And in this column, we got here on how do we pronounce these words. And on the last column, is the meaning of the words in your language. Now, I want you to choose one word and use it in a sentence. Uh, I never watch comedy. I never watch comedy. Uh, you never watch comedy. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now let's have this one. How to talk about time. Okay, I already see this one. So this one, uh, it is already written on your language for you to easily understand this part. Now we have this. 
Okay, so these are the words or expressions that we use to express or to say what time is it. When the clock strikes here, uh huh. Oh, you you see how the clock looks like, right? It got two hands. You you know this, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. Do you know how to read clock? Or how to read time? Mm, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, what what kind of clock do you have? This one. What what they call this? Analog or the digital? Digital is the clock with numbers only. For example, one. And then we got two zero here, and then it tells whether it is p.m. or a.m. Do you have this clock or this one, the analog? I have clock in computer and clock in phone. Mm, uh, well, what kind of clock do you usually uh, have or do you have the analog? This one is analog. We call this one analog. This I have one. the lock. Or this one is the digital. This one. Oh, yes, this one. Digital. Oh, you got digital. But do you know how to read analog clock? This one? Mm, I don't know. Mm, I see. Okay. Well, analog clock, it is like a circle and it got numbers. It got two hands. Okay, like that. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. Looks ugly. Uh, let me use this one. It, it got two hands. There and it got there. And those two hands, they kept on moving. The other one is shorter than the other. So the longer hand, it tells what time is it. And the shorter, it tells the minutes. Oh, I don't have clock with me. Okay, uh, next meeting, I will show you a clock and I will um, teach you how to read the analog clock. But for the meantime, since we still got uh, three minutes left, let's have this one. Okay, so this is, what is this? Please read. A clock. Okay, what about this one? Five. Uh. Five pass. Okay, this is? Ten pass. Okay, this is? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what happened? Oh, hello? Hello? Sorry, I need to bring uh, water. Oh, it's okay. Uh, hold on. Let me share it again. Oh, is that a cat? Do you have a cat? Yes. Oh. How many cats do you have? Just one. Oh, okay, I see. Uh-huh. Okay, so then we have, what is this? Mm. Sparter. What's the bus? Oh, very nice. This is? Mm. 20 bus. Mm-hmm. Twenty-five pass. Okay, and this is half pass. Okay, this is twenty-five two. Mm. That is mm -hmm. twenty-two. Okay.
and that is and two. Uh, uh, quarter two. Okay, quarter two. And that is ten two. Okay, and this one. Five two. Okay, very good. And we are going to return back to a clock. Okay, up uh, next meeting, I will show you a clock and I will uh, teach you on how to use these words on reading a clock. Okay, since you are used on digital clock. Well, digital clock is the common clock that we have in this generation. But in my time, um, my mother don't like it when I am reading digital clock. She told me that I should know how to read the analog, the, the circle one. Okay, so uh, huh? do you have a question before we end our discussion? No. Okay, so no question. So that will be it for our discussion today. Uh, you can continue your, your nap. Okay, goodbye. Bye.